Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In Zion Park, Utah, there is an underground canyon 24 kilometers long and 800 meters deep. Scientists said it was washed out by water, and jokingly called it the underground. The jokes are jokes, but the canyon really looks like a modern-day snow drift. Perfect shapes, vertical grooves on the walls, whereas they should be horizontal when exposed to water, and no traces of water erosion were found. The tracks look like a modern mining machine, but the most amazing thing is that this tunnel with man-made tracks goes under the water into the ocean. Gods from all over the world found a universal tool, like a nuclear suitcase, the Vajra. China, India, Tibet, Sumer, Greece, ancient Rome, Scandinavia, ancient peoples clearly saw this object weapon. That it was a weapon is clear from the description of its use. The gods could strike enemies with lightning or cut mountains with a Vajra. If the idea of a lightsaber as a controlled source of plasma lightning is quite familiar, thanks to the fantasy world, the fact that the gods of the ancient world had a single weapon across the world is somewhat alarming. Unlike the same descriptions of flying machines, the description of the Vajra is absolutely identical in all peoples, one form, the same use, the same technique. Too common and detailed an object for a simple fiction. Electricity in the 17th century. The engraving is of Paris, 1681. Note the chandeliers in the middle of the street and on the building facades on the sides. Remind you of anything? The usual electric chandeliers. But the use of electricity began only in the 19th century. People may say, so these are candles, are you crazy? Yes, very similar, if it weren't for a few butts. One. The light is solid, like from a chandelier, not spotty, if there were candles. 2. Height of placement. Candles burn out, they need to be replaced, at this height, it is difficult to do so. 3. From the previous point, it follows, that at this height, of course, there will be a wind. And candles are very easily blown out by the smallest gust of wind, sometimes even a wave of the hand is enough. There are many more examples like this. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Do you know about MTV Video Music Awards? The MTV Video Music Awards, commonly abbreviated as the VMAs, is an award show presented by the cable channel MTV to honor the best in the music video medium. Originally conceived as an alternative to the Grammy Awards in the video category, the annual MTV Video Music Awards ceremony has often been called the Super Bowl for Youth, an acknowledgement of the VMA ceremony's ability to draw millions of youth from teens to 20-somethings each year. 
Basically, the goal is to promote specific artists and to showcase how they comply with the elite's agenda by using blatant symbolism. The 2022 VMAs was no exception. A limited number of actors took part in this play, notably Nicki Minaj, Jack Harlow, and Blackpink, as all kinds of globalist elite-friendly agendas were being promoted to millions of young viewers. And, in 2022, that agenda is simply toxic. I can't tell here in detail, because I find it hard not to tell the truth. The entire VMAs were rife with obvious symbolism that strongly hinted at one thing. The occult elite controls everything. Most awards were preceded by an animation depicting a hand from above bestowing a gift to those under. It represents the elite handing out an award to the compliant slaves it controls. As you'll soon see, nearly every artist at the VM is performed under a pyramidal structure that gave the entire show a strange dystopian vibe. The message is, the elite owns these slaves. Even up-and-coming artists performed under pyramids. This is Conan Gray, a male singer, in red dress, performs under a pyramid. The message is, the elite is incubating this artist for the future. The VM has also managed to convey the fact that, being under the elite's pyramid, comes at a cost. As explained in past videos, K-pop is 100% part of the occult elite's agenda. And Blackpink was been chosen to make it big across the world. The group's performance at the VMAs could not have been more obvious. The performance began with fangs descending from a cloud in front of a lit pyramidal structure. Satanic occult elite. Then things get even more obvious. Blackpink performs in front of a giant eye inside a triangle which happens to be the favorite symbol of the occult elite. Yes, I'm talking about the symbol, the all-seeing eye inside a triangle. To confirm the fact that Blackpink was chosen by the elite, Lisa, a member of the group, went on to win the Best K-Pop Video Award for her song Alyssa. Here's the cover art of the album. It's basically a massive one-eye sign. If you comply with the elite, you get shiny things. But at what cost? As you can see, the elite fully infiltrated K-pop. And it is doing the same with Latin music which I'll tell you about sometime. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.